What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. We're back here for part 21 of my Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix PC gameplay as we complete the last mini quest of this game. Well, as a last, we saw quite a ways ago in this Let's Play. Um, but uh, we are going to do our last mini quest, which unfortunately that results in us going to Professor Snape. This is a potions uh, mini quest we're going to be doing this round. Um, now, we are going to get some discovery points as we are going to explore the dungeon area, of course, before we do um, that mini quest. So, let's, we're going to make our way to the dungeons and, um, yeah, just get some discovery points in there. We'll, of course, get our last O for outstanding. In this, um, Dragons in this um, lesson. Um, and of course, the next round, next couple rounds, is going to be basically the last of the other little mini games. We'll try to get the last game of Exploding Snap in. I know there's, a, there's one there. We're going to have the Gobstone rounds. And then we also have my least favorite ones Wizard Chess. I absolutely suck at chess, guys. Let's put it that way. So definitely going to be having a lot of outtakes on that one. So of course those, I'm just going to be, um, I'm going to be just putting in the best one for each one for chess, of course. There's really only one part of gobstones that I'm not too good at, but, um, but anyways, we're in the dungeons now, so we just had to say how Slytherins are supreme. And let's start cleaning things up here in this area. Let's just keep right to the walls here. This is our last chest piece we gotta get. Yes, we've got all those. And of course, here's Myrtle bugging on our business again. Oh, jeez, Myrtle. Your secret room is pointless. Alright, down here. I don't know what the point of this hallway is down here. I really do not, unless it's like Slytherin common entrance or something. I don't know. Um, just hang to the right. Here, are just some knights. Just gotta push them into place. That one's good. Next one. This sucker right here. Get up. Come on. There we go. That. Just push around. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. This basically just be a jerk here. All right, that no, the the one to the right is normal. That one is you know just still out of funk. And that one right here, pushing around, pushing my buttons. Use this one. And again, I don't know if I found everything in this set, but I, I keep saying. This is not a 100% let's play. And of course, I'm more powerful level 11 now with my spell powers. I've got some things to show you in our secret. We don't care, Myrtle! That sounds creepy. Harry is not crushing on a on a ghost that's how much older than him. Sorry. He's got Cho Chang in this game. Even though Cho Chang is, well, Cho Chang. I've already done that rant. Check out the Cho Chang video. Well, for the, Cho, the round of Cho, with Cho Chang with a little Owlery about my honest opinions about the Cho Chang character and how I still think they really have went, went through the motions with her character. Um, here, of course, we have a ghost. To, I think this is the last ghost, Hogwarts Wing ghost to um, unlock and we're in the dungeon, so it's pretty obvious who it is going to be. No one other than... Wait for it. Oops. Sorry about that. I apologize to this portrait. Not getting it right. Because who cares? Because it's... The freaking... Bloody... Baron. Yep, the Bloody Baron is the last ghost, Hogwarts ghost, we've had to... Unveil. Whatever. I'm gonna be cold all day. And of course, we got all the ghosts unlocked. We've seen another well, ghost. Lonely Myrtle again is bugging you us. Yes, we have been busy. Much busier than your worthless room. You, 
Pip Squeak. All right. Use this one right here. I hate the incendio spell, especially. Come on. As I say, you can't over exaggerate the mouse, except for if you're um, trying to, you know, have so many people cast at, you know, um, Devil Snare. All right. Before we go see Snipe. Just to show this off for a second, this stairwell leads back up to the viaduct entrance. And we've already been up here, we've got to okay. take care of the best, best, best we can up here. So let's just go back downstairs. And now let's get down to some serious business. We got the discovery points, well the ones I know of in this area. Come on, let's talk to Snake. Ah, uh, Potter. After your last feeble attempt at potion making, I expect you to write 12 inches of parchment on the properties of Moonstone. No excuses. Is that how they measure that? They only measure up by how many words? Like, Potter, this has to be an 800 word essay, but what if I don't have a reason to make it 800 words? Or six pages? Uh, you know, I, I hate those essays. Anyways, but of course, we're gonna do about that. Great. Just what I need. What a complete git. I know just the book you need. If we're passing the library, you can check it there. So we're going to go to the library now. So of course, let's have to go over here now. Let's check off the library. And let's use the lovely... Slytherin's are supreme. Hardly. I wish I could tell Professor Snape about your sneaking. Again, Harry and that witch do not get along at all. Then again, Harry does not get along with any Slytherins. Then again, who gets al along with a Slytherin general? I don't want to say that. My one friend got sorted into Slytherin, so I don't want to insult him. But, yeah. Then there's me, a Hufflepuff. Helga and I are best friends, I guess, since, I'm, since she is the head of my house. Helga Hufflepuff. Studious success. A healthy mind. So this time, actually, we think we have to go into the um, the restricted section in the library. Come on, Ooh. I believe I remember where now, to go. What you need for Professor Snape's essay is magical drafts and potions. Have an excellent day today. Yeah, in the restricted section. Yet yeah, we are still going through right now in the bright hours of the day. Restricted section. Oh joy. Oops, went past it. The library's on the second floor. Don't. This is the book there we, we need. Oh look, Moonstone is sometimes known as the Wishing Stone. Wishing. Um, Hermione. Oh no. Of course. You have to write this. Oh essay. Hermione, can you do my essay for me? I suppose I could correct it for you. And then go through the motions of. And so therefore, and they. In conclusion, just talking about you know doing it step by step. Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Snape. Yay! That's all about. That's weird. Anyways, all right. We'll be coming back to here later on again though for the chessboard to face the Hogwarts champion who's a Ravenclaw student. She's nice, but of course, you know. It's chess. Again, I hate chess. I hate wizard's chess. I absolutely suck at chess. Studious success. Just you wait. You may well, I'm not going to save all the power. outtakes, of course, but, you know. As commentary goes, I may have to just cut commentary for those rounds, because, I, again, I literally have no faith that I'm going to be able to get this done in one take. Well, the Gryffindor champion, the first champion, yes. Slytherin champion, I struggled too. It took me three days. Three days the first time I, 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 I played this game. To beat the Ravenclaw champion. Three days. I told my mom, I said, I'm most likely to fall in love first than beat this than beat this um, beat this um beat this round of um, chess. But in the end I beat chess first and as far as love goes, I'm starting to get there with something with that. But of course, you know, that will be, you know, for another time. But anyways, speaking of love, let's go to Snipe. 
Professor Snape, I've brought you my essay on Moonstone. Oh, they're getting Indeed. along this time. They never Let got along. Let us see along. if you can differentiate between monkshood and Moonstone, shall we? I suppose this is acceptable. Acceptable. Follow me. But I must remind you, Potter, you will not be able to rely upon Miss Granger when you take your owl. Jeez. So much faith. So we've now completed all the homework assignments. Which some people save till the end, but I just do it before we get to the nitty gritty of this game. Of course, we still have a couple more things to do. Let's go in here and do our potions mini lesson. And of course, there's Myrtle again. Can't leave us alone! And of course, we will get it. One more time. Here to revise, Potter. Make sure you don't waste my time. Begin. Begins, okay. So yeah, this one basically... When God I don't Leosa. know how um, this one works. Because this one, basically, you have to just continue to pick up the um, the potion pieces. Sometimes it, it takes long, sometimes it doesn't take long. Snape is just inconsistent. But just whatever you do, do not drop it on the floor. And look at the floor in front of Snape. But again, thank goodness for, you know, the um, aiming keys or whatnot in this game, because it would make life just a lot more tougher. Because, <laughs> you know, I'd be wondering aimlessly about what's going on. One sky blue, everyone. No, sorry, that's sky blue. Although, a turquoise teal color. I've always been like one of my unsung favorite colors. <laughs> so, whoop. Oh, shoot. Wingardium Leviosa! Anyways, I hate this. The mouse goes crazy. Um, wait till we get, get into uh, Half Blood Prince. That's, um. That one we could do a ton of potions in that game. Of course, because Harry Potter apparently the Prince of Potions, according to Professor Slughorn. Horse Slughorn. That one in the game, we have a lot to learn with the potions there. So. What you have achieved, quite a bit, I'd say, sir. Surprisingly, you have earned an outstanding. Excellent. But remember that you will have to do your exam alone. Understood. But then again, we don't like to. And Myrtle again! There are lots of new things to see in our We're secret not coming room. to the secret room, Myrtle. It's pointless. But that's going to do it, guys. We've completed all of our homework assignments and all the mini quests in this game. Now, of course, we have to do um, the gobstones and the uh, the chess games. And then we'll get to get to the nitty gritty and, you know, head towards the home stretch in this Let's Play. Again, we still have some ways to go, but um, we've done quite a bit already. So that's part 21, guys. See you guys in part 22 where we do the first of the few rounds with the gobstone challenges. So, as always, guys, be sure to always slap a like on the video, subscribe for more content to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at DemandAirBoy93. Until then, guys, I am the Club of Demand 1993, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out, everybody!